take a moment. See yourself sitting here, wherever that may be. Feel the floor beneath your feet, the chair, the, the couch, whatever it is beneath you. We're going to pretend we're a tree and act like a tree. We're going to grow our roots down, down through the floor, down through anything below us, the basements and whatnot, down through the foundations far below us, into the dirt beneath where we sit. We're going to grow the roots down through the soil, around the rocks, keep on going down until we reach the bedrock far below. As we hit the bedrock, we'll search out until we can find the pools of clear, cool water deep beneath the earth. And with each and every breath, we're going to slowly bring these waters up through our roots and bring them up into our bodies. Bring them up into our feet and into our legs. Next breath, we'll bring them up into our loins and into our bellies. And each and every breath brings them further up into our chest, into our heads, until the next breath brings them all the way up through our bodies, coming out of our heads and out of our hands, flowing back into the earth, filling us with these cool waters from below, the waters of chaos, waters of potential. Feel these waters fill you with all these energies. Take of these energies all that you need. Rejoice in these energies. Enjoy these waters. And now we're going to reach up with our arms and our branches. We could grow them up through the ceilings and up through the roofs, up through the clouds if there are any, and reach up into the sky high above us until we can find that one star directly above our heads, the fires of order, the fires above. Go reach up and we're going to grab those fires, grab that light and bring it down through our branches and into our bodies. With each and every breath, we'll bring that fire down into our heads and into our chests. Next breath, we'll bring it down into our bellies and into our loins. As we fill ourselves with the fires from above, bring it down into our legs and into our feet. See the fires fill you and mix with the waters from below. See yourself glowing with this mixture of energy. The fires from above, the waters from below. Light, warmth, and cold mixing throughout our body. Take of all these energies. Fill yourself, fill your reserves with all that you need. Bring yourself back to whatever center you have. And we enjoy these energies. And once you're full, take a moment and push the waters back down into the earth. Take the fires, push them back up into the sky. And disconnect yourselves from them from below and above. And know that anytime you need any of these energies, you can always just reach down, you can always reach up and pull them into you. But for now, take a deep breath in and out, in and out. And when you're ready, open your eyes prepared for magic. Our first offering, as always, is the Earth Mother. You surround us, you support us. You aid us in so many ways. You bring us interesting stories that come with the weather, such as what's happening in the Midwest right now. You provide us food, you provide us shelter. For everything that you do for us, Earth Mother, accept our offerings. Earth Spirit, accept our offerings. We are here to honor the gods, the land spirits, and the ancestors. And we're here to ask for their blessings in return. But first, we hallow our hallows. Mighty well, you reach deep into the ground, to the lands of the ancestors, 
will soon ask you to open as a gate to the underworlds. We give you the silver and we ask sacred waters flow within us. Sacred waters flow within us. us. In mighty fire, you burn and transform and you send our offerings high into the heavens to the shining ones far above. We offer you this incense. We will ask you to be our gate to the shining ones. But for now, sacred fires burn within us. Sacred fires burn sacred within fires us. Burn within us. In mighty tree, your roots run deep into the earth to the lands of the ancestors. Your branches run high into the sky to the lands of the shining ones. We offer you well from the water and incense from the fire. And we say, sacred tree, grow within us. Sacred tree, grow Grow within us. And in my grove and in all of our groves, by the might of the water, the light of the fire, our groves are made whole and holy. By the might of the water, the light of the fire, our groves are made whole and holy. By the might of the water, in the light of the fire, our groves are made whole and holy. So be it. So be so it. Be it. <clears throat> now we make offerings to the gatekeepers. Gatekeepers all, you who have aided us throughout the years. You have watched over us. We call on you once more to aid us and guide us. Watch over us as we walk your holy roads. Take our questions far and wide. Bring back to us all that we need to hear. Gatekeepers all, accept our offerings. Gatekeepers all, accept our offerings. Now, gatekeepers, join your magic with mine. Let the fire not just in my house, but in all of our houses. Let the fires open as a gate to the upper worlds. Let all the waters open as a gate to the underworlds. Let the tree be the crossroads between all the worlds, open to our spirits and open to our voices. Let the gates be opened. Let Let the the gates gates be be open. May they be opened in each and every one of our houses. First, let us make offerings to the shining ones. Gods and goddesses of other days, you who watch over each and every one of us, you who we call patrons and matrons, we offer you welcome. You who are this very earth where we each live, we offer you welcome. And you who watch over us but are unknowns to us, to all of you, we offer you welcome. Come and join us by our fires. Shining ones, accept our offerings. Shining ones, accept accept our offerings. Next, we make offerings to the land spirits. To all of you, fur and feather, scale and skin, or animal kin, we offer you welcome. To all of you of leaf and twig, stem and flower, our plant kin, we offer you welcome. And to all of you that are unseen, our house spirits, our land spirits, and all of the rest of you who defy categorizing, we offer you welcome. Come, join us at our fire. Land spirits, accept our offerings. Land spirits, land spirits accept accepted. our offerings. And to all the ancestors, to those of us, or those of you that are our family and have come before us, we offer you welcome. To those of you that we have chosen, the inspired uh, family, our mentors, we offer you welcome. And to all of you of this very earth where each and every one of us sits, we offer you welcome. Come and join us by our fires. 
Ancestors, accept our offerings. Ancestors, accept our offerings. At this point, if you have offerings of your own to make, please feel free to make them. To all those, um, oh, go ahead. May I, may I make an offering that literally just popped up on my computer screen? Yes. <laughs> um, I just heard from Adara um, and she would like us to add an offering to one who just went to join the ancestors. Um, Colorado State Patrol Corporal Daniel Groves, um, who was killed this morning in the blizzard helping a stranded motorist on the highway. Hail the traveler and may those who are remembered live. Hail. And with that, we have lost a couple other uh, people within the pagan community in the past week. Uh, I will forget the guy's name, but someone from Ontario uh, area, big in the uh, Canadian pagan community in Raven Snow. Uh, and uh, Raven, I can't think of his last Ramonzi. name. Yes, uh, a very influential author uh, within the pagan community. To all of you, hail and may you never be forgotten. Hail. There are no other offerings to be made. Mighty kindred, we have given to you we give to you one last time. And with this gift, we ask that we receive blessings in return. Mighty kindred, accept our sacrifice. Mighty, Mighty kindred, kindred, accept, accept our, our sacrifice. With that, we ask, Mighty kindred, what blessings do we receive? First, we ask the shining ones. Shining ones give us now disease, the need fire, needs and constraint. Next we ask the land spirits, what blessings do we receive? They give us so-and-so, the sun, wholeness and completeness. And the ancestors, what blessings do we receive? The ancestors give us hobble, major change. I think the ancestors want a little more offerings. Excuse me. To the ancestors, to those who have fallen in service, those in the pagan community that have fallen, may you all be remembered. May you all accept our offerings. Accept our offerings. And with that, I ask once more, ancestors, Putting your toggle back, I'm asking, what blessings do you receive? Perthra, the dice of the rune of chance. The rune of games and dice. What I'm getting out of all this is we need to pay attention to our ancestors in this time of balance that's coming up. Especially those uh, who have recently fallen, those who have recently left us. There is a need uh, and there is a desire. And I think that's the message we're getting is to let's not forget our ancestors. 
Let's talk about them. Let's remember them. Do we accept these omens? We accept these omens. All right. Then with that, my waters and all of our waters, ancient and mighty ones, mighty kindred, we ask that you fill these waters with these omens we have just heard. Fill them with the nausies and the need and constraints of remembrance. Fill them with the sozo and the spotlight that comes with the sun. Fill them with the major change and the chance that comes with it. With these waters, may we remember those who have passed before and allow them to live through our memories. Kindred, fill these waters with these omens. Behold the waters of life. Behold the Behold waters of life. Of life. Behold them, not just in my house, but in all of our houses. All right. Now, let us thank all of those who have aided us. Mighty ancestors, we have given to you, and you have given us your blessings. And we will heed your, your desire to be remembered. But for all that you have done for us, ancestors, we thank you. Ancestors, ancestors we, we thank, thank you. you. And land spirits, you fur, feather, scale, and skin, be you leaf, twig, stem, and flower, or be you unseen. You surround us daily, you enrich our lives for all that you do for us. Land spirits, we thank you. Land spirits, we thank you. And to the shining ones, all the gods and goddesses that watch over us, known or unknown to us, for all that you do for us throughout the days. Shining ones, we thank you. Shining, shining ones, we, we thank, thank you. And gatekeepers, you have once more opened the ways for communications and brought back the messages we needed to hear, even though they may not have been the messages we wanted to hear. That is fine. We thank you for doing your job that we've asked of you, and we honor and thank you for all that you have done. We say, gatekeepers all, we thank you. Gatekeepers all, we thank you. And now, gatekeepers, we ask that you once more join your magic with mine, in my house, and in all of our houses. That the fires become but flames. The waters become, well, the well become but water once more. Let the trees become but a tree. Let the gates be closed. Let the gates, Let the gates be, closed. be closed. And last but not least, Earth Mother, you surround us, you support us. We honor you first. We thank you last for all that you do for us. We would not be here without you. Earth Mother, we thank you. Earth Spirit, we thank you. And go now, children of Earth, in wisdom and peace. This right has ended. <laughs>